Hey, what's going on guys? It's Delby here and welcome back to another Shadow and Shuffle video here on my channel. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys all of the Easter egg steps that we know so far. So, so far we do know a lot of Easter egg steps to the Easter egg here on Shadow and Shuffles, but the Easter egg has not been solved yet. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys all of the steps that we know so far. So this is going to be an Easter egg guide to all the steps that we know at this moment. Now, as of right now, the Easter egg has not been solved, but by the time this video gets released, who knows? It might have been solved, but as of right now, the Easter egg has not been solved. So let's jump right into it here. So to do the first step, you have to go to Black Hat Dojo. Once you're at the Black Hat Dojo, go in there and talk to Pam. Now you have to only talk to her if it's after round 5 or round 5. Anything before round 5 will not work. So go over to Pam and talk to her and she will give you the four Easter egg upgrades, whatever you want to call them. I like Snake, so I picked Snake. Once you picked it, activate it and there will be three challenges that you have to do the first one is melee 15 zombies using this snake style um, the second one will be using your chinese star knives to kill them and the third one will be using whatever ability the style has and once you completed those you then go back to pam and talk to her and then you can start the second step of the easter egg so the second step is involving a rat you're going to have to release the rat from a cage and follow it around the rat will be located Right in between Bomb Stoppers and Mule Munchies right here, you shoot your Chinese Star Knife at the cage there and you can see the rat just walking around. You're going to have to follow that rat. Now the only issue here is it does take a long time. You're going to have to follow this rat for roughly 10 minutes. Like it took me 10 minutes to follow this rat around until it was done doing whatever it's doing. So as you can see here, I am following the rat. Now the rat will go into cages. If the rat goes into a cage, which it will, it'll go into the cage like five or four times, something like that, you shoot your Chinese star knife and release it. So as you can see here, the rat is going in a cage. I shoot my Chinese star knife and the rat gets released and it keeps doing what he's doing. He's going to go in cages like five times until he's done doing what he's doing. So once you follow the rat for like 10 minutes, he'll then go into his last cage. Once he's in his last cage, shoot the Chinese star knife at the cage and you will see a orange circle appear. Now this is how you know you have completed the rat. This is how you know you're done following the rat once you see this orange circle appear right next to a cage. What you're going to have to do here is you're going to have to kill I think like 10 or 15 zombies inside this orange circle right here. Now honestly it's not that challenging but you can die so watch out. So basically all you're going to have to do is kill 15 or 10 zombies something like that I find this is the easiest location this is not the only location it changes depending where the rat decides to go but in my game this is where the rat decided to go so this is where the orange circle is and in my opinion this is the easiest spot for it so just kill 10 to 15 zombies in this orange circle you know you'll be done killing the zombies once the orange circle disappears like that right there once it disappears you're then gonna have to fight the kung fu zombies now basically what these kung fu zombies are are there zombies that are a lot faster have a lot more health and honestly just a pain in the ass to kill but you're gonna have to kill i think like six or seven maybe something like that i'm not really sure but as you can see a kung fu zombie just spawned at the door of, of heebie jeebies and there are a lot more and as you can see here i get confused just because there are so many of them as you can see they're not all there's the zombies mixed with the kung fu zombies but the kung fu zombies are very difficult to kill they again have more damage and you have to kill them all in order to do the next step as you can see here i'm shooting ma the majority of the kung fu zombies here i'm running over here because i am scared because they are super fast but as you can see there's there's a kung fu zombie you have, to, you have to kill them all and once you've killed them all then go back to the place where the circle was and you will see a key sitting there just go to it and press square and you will pick it up once you've picked up the key go down to the subway here it's a subway where bang bangs is and you'll see a locker with chinese writing on it Hold square on it and that key will open the locker like so. So once you've done that, you can now start the next step. So the next step involves you shooting Chinese symbols around the map. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come over here and shoot the one on the left hand side. Once you shoot that, you'll hear this gong noise and that will tell you that is complete. And then you're going to want to come over here into this window here and you're going to want to shoot the second one right there, the one I'm shooting right there. Again, you'll hear a gong. And that will let you know that you've done it and then you're going to want to make your way up here and you'll see three on a on this thing right here you're going to want to shoot the first one and then the second one and then you'll hear a giant gong noise and that will let you know that you've, you have completed the step so once you've done all those steps you can now go into the first boss fight of this easter egg so come over here and you'll see this orange circle on the ground press square on it and it will spawn in the rat king as you can see that's the rat king now when i first started shooting this boss zombie when i first started shooting him he was honestly 
very easy. It seemed like it was going to be a very easy boss to kill. But as time went on, it got harder and harder. I accidentally ended the round, so the zombies came. Plus, he spawned. I think he spawned. I'm not really sure, but he's... There was Kung Fu Zombies that came in the map, as you can see right there. There's one right there. Those were honestly more of a challenge than the Rat King. The Kung Fu Zombies were a pain in the ass, but they were there. Plus, the other zombies were there, and I had such a tough time actually killing this thing. And I ended up failing, and I ended up dying. I unfortunately couldn't get by the Rat King. But if you kill the Rat King, what will happen is he will drop an eyeball. And then after he drops the eyeball, you then pick it up. And then you go around the map and you scan a bunch of things. And that is probably the last step that we know right now. I'm pretty sure that's the last step that we know. So after you kill the Rat King, pick up the eye that he drops. And you're going to have to go around the map scanning a bunch of things. That is the only that is the last step that we know at this moment, I think. Um, so that is basically all the Easter egg that we know right now. Again, by the time this video comes out, it might be already you know solved. Probably not actually the way it's going. It might not be solved for a while, another day maybe. But, uh, yes, yeah, so this is all the steps that we really know right now. Again, after the Rat King, he will drop an eyeball, and then you, you're then going to have to scan things after that. Unfortunately, I couldn't get there because I died. I couldn't get past the Rat King. I couldn't beat him. But that is basically all the Easter egg steps that we know at the moment. If this video helped you guys, please leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Delby, and I'll see you guys in another one later.